Well, boys, she's a chilly one. You can see my breath in the truck. That's not cool. It's not best. That's because it's minus one outside. It's also 738. It's also a Saturday. Good grief. Freaking wind chills just, just right frosted up. Well, today we got another little project. Uh, actually, working on Matt's car today. Uh, Matt uh, has a, a 240SX. And we're going to be putting a water pump in it, a thermostat. Why? Because we can. All right. Well, this could be interesting. This car doesn't heat. I'm going to try and get it to uh, get to the old shop. There's no heat. Let's see if the doors will even open. They might not. All right, time for a old start, cold start here. Old car, we're gonna give it a cold start. Make sure she doesn't roll away on us. Let's do this. Look at that. Oh, oh shit. Gotta turn that down. Yeah, I'll probably have to let it warm up for quite a while in order to actually defrost the windshield, so it's gonna go sit in my truck. <clears throat> well, we made it. It's a cold ride here, but. Uh, we made it. So here's our water pump we're going to be putting in today. My guess is the impeller is gummed up or something. <clears throat> it only has heat in the car once you rev it up. Not best. New gasket and a couple studs apparently. Don't know why we need those, but okay. And we've also got our new thermostat. Not sure what temperature this one is. No idea. It says, 50, it says 54 millimeters, whatever that is. That's the opening size, but it doesn't say what. Oh, there we go. We're putting in a 100 to 70 degree Fahrenheit thermostat. And there's the number. Let's get started. All right, <clears throat> so under the hood here, I'll show you what we're after. We are after Mr. Water Pump, which is right there. If you can see that with the Deco belt running over it. So you might have to take off the fan. In fact, you do have to take off the fan. Four tens. And then our thermostat is just buried in right about there. It's that little bolt right about, you can see the housing, the aluminum housing. We're gonna be swapping out the thermostat today too. So, I guess we gotta get this crud out of the way. Fan shroud, fan, all the belts, and all that fun stuff. Let's see how this works out. Well, it's probably a good idea to drain the coolant from the car. Before we get started, the bleed screw, sorry, drain screw. The drain screw is just on the right hand side of the, uh, sorry. The drain screw is just on the left hand side of the car, on the left hand side of the rad. You probably can't see it, but it's there. There we go. Kind of see some of the sludge that's in the system on the cap of that dark area there. That's all that junk that's collecting inside of here. So that's what we want to take care of today with this water pump. So I just took a couple things out of the way. This uh, air inlet tube and this little flexi pipe that's clearly been taped up. It's actually uh, cracked inside. Uh, back to the car here. I was debating whether I should take off the fan shroud or not. I think I'm going to try and squeak around without doing that. It's got all these hoses and. There's stuff going on. So I think I'm going to start with this uh, Powers tearing belt. And hopefully loosen off that alternator belt, which looks like the adjustment's right there. And I think I'll have all access pass. Oh look, we might even have guests. It's Tony Chu. <coughs> Tony, welcome to the show. Oh boy. Look at those winter tires. Tony, that's a little crooked, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to lie. So what are you doing here today? <laughs> what are we doing here? Oh, look at that. The guy even brings gifts. We'll get into that later. All right, Tony, thanks for uh, coming on the show. Drop by anytime. All right. So I got... Uh, it's a little difficult getting some of the, uh, the fan mounting bolts off, but... Working on that still, and that, I think that's why they supplied me with new studs. 
That's why they supply these studs at the water pump. Those are actually for mounting the fan. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. Well, I just picked up this impact gun this week. Snap on CT661. Look at my batteries and the handle, so it's teeny tiny. And before that, I was using <clears throat> a nice gun, but a little bigger. Oh! He freaking chirped him! Yikes! Tony's just a race car driver. Anyway, before I was using this one, you can see the size difference. And yeah, this one doesn't put out quite the same amount of power, but it came in quite handy today when I, uh, oops, when I did these water pump bolts. I just jammed it in there between the shroud. This, this pump actually doesn't look that bad. It's a little crusty on there, but I don't know, it's just uh, good insurance to uh, take care of that now. And uh, we've got the gasket and all that crap ready to go. So we've got lots of cleaning off to do. It's quite messy here. There's lots of uh, oil and grease around the timing case. Uh, sorry about the brutal camera view. You can see in there kind of, it's just a little brown. It's actually pretty clean and clear. So now we'll take off the thermostat and see what we see. Maybe it's blocked with junk. Is the only other thing I can think of. All right, water pumps out, thermostats out. Let's take a look. So I think I showed the uh, water pump earlier. It's just, it's just dandy. Uh, moving over to thermostat county here. The one on the right, obviously the old one. It doesn't look terrible. Uh, it's not quite the same brand. It doesn't say Nissan anywhere on it. Well, it's just junk though. It's just junk. It tells me that side's to rad. That's all it tells me. Anyway, there's some sealant in the way here. It's a little messy, but I don't see any scrape marks on the copper piece where it would have been sticking. Like in an open position. So, yeah, I could boil some water up to 170 Fahrenheit and see if it opens. But we're just going to put this new one in. It's got this new stick-on gasket, so it's easy to install. It's a pretty smart idea. And I've cleaned all the gasket surfaces, or ceiling surfaces. So we're pretty much ready for business here. Just gotta wipe it down, maybe do a little extra scrapage. And uh, final move. Well, I was just talking to our, uh, our motorsports director, Jason, over there. And we've hauled out the lower half of the air box. And it's really restricting flow. It's kind of a problem. So, uh, how big of a hole do you think we should, do you want to outline the hole we should cut in here? I'm thinking, it's gotta be significant. Just like that? At least. All right, I'll take it to the machine shop. Right, and we'll see Make what we can do. A basic outline. Safety first here. My dad would not approve of this. There we go, we just gotta do the final cut. <laughs> All right, well, we're ready for the races. I'm sure that'll improve performance. We need more, doesn't 60 it? 60 horsepower? 60? We'll talk to Chad and we'll see what he says. Anyway. Oh, well, we've got her purring kind of like a kitten now. And uh, we're gonna see if there's any any improvement at all. So let's uh, I've been running for about two minutes, maybe. We've got a bit of exhaust leak up here too. As you'll hear in a second, there's a bit of an exhaust leak at the rear still. The leak is actually just it's actually right there, just the opposite side of this pipe, right before it goes to the muffler. It's definitely got another, I'd say, 35 horsepower from doing the. Uh, Oh, music off. My bad. Definitely got uh, some issues still. There's no heat. And yet temperature gauge says it's Jim Dandy. Let's give her a little rev. It's a little loud. 
Oh, don't like that. Still no heat. The system's bled. The system's completely bled. I don't know, there's just issues here. We'll have to see. Well, the Drift King is almost ready for the highway. After some much needed awesomeness, aka halfway up headlights. We went for the one third look though. We thought it was appropriate. It's going to draw maximum air to that air box, which we modified. It's best. Just waiting for a quarter and some exhaust tape to fix that exhaust leak. We'll go from there. <clears throat> so we're going to some minis now. Oh, minis. Well, it's been a long day at the shop here. It's like time to call her a day. Did some modifications here as well. Get the checkered flag design now. We wanted to outline the Tiger Pa and the Tiger Pa tires. And last but not least, you catch my drift. While well, driving here in the old uh, 240, maybe you can hear it. Actually, sounds okay. Definitely need to get that exhaust thing taken care of. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to put some gas in the old girl. Little Maddie left me with no freaking gas. So uh, we're going to get on the Jasmine real hard.